How y'all doing out there? I'm Kale. And I'm Jake. And you are kicking it with Kale and Jake. How y'all doing today, man? What's going on with you, bro? Yeah, you know, man. Staying busy. Yeah, me too, man. I'm trying to make something happen. Yep. So, today I want to talk about the trail spree well. Mm -hmm. The the ex-NBA player. Okay. He was really good back in the day, too. I used to like watching him and things like that. But I heard that he's out here trying to do a GoFundMe now. It's for a great cause, for uh, the cancer of his grand, uh, granddaughter, oh, okay. so they can uh, just get her done to have surgery and stuff. Okay. But I'm just wondering, is this something that is like a hoax because he having financial struggle, or is it actually real? It's hard to say. Because it's hard to say, yeah. because he's made over $97 million in the league. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of money. It is. But cancer is also very expensive to Yeah, treat. it is. It is. But I think but but see, that's another thing. He's not asking for like all this money. He's asking for only thirty seven thousand dollars. Yeah, and that might just be what he needs for treatment. But the, what I'm saying is you make ninety seven million dollars, you don't have thirty seven thousand. Yeah, maybe I, I see what you're saying. <laughs> but you know how a lot of how a lot of those dudes are, man. A lot of them, they're young. They splurge that money. Like what they made is not necessarily what they have, and he may not have like due to his living expenses and all that that he's created for himself. He may not have that money to provide treatment for her, and things might have gotten real for him. And he might have. I'm sure it was very humbling for him to put that out there that he needs that he needs money. It may not even be him though. Oh yeah, that's and that and that's the crazy that's thing. Another we do is exactly. There way, is there a way to verify it? Well, I don't know because when I read here, it's saying that they have two sites that um, people have tried to go to, mm-hmm. and it's been dummy sites. Has Has he said anything personally? Like, has he made a statement? Not to my knowledge. I haven't read anything with him actually saying anything about it. Okay. So I think that it could be that that could be could weird. Be fake. It could be fake. Somebody yeah. be could be out here just trying to get money off his name. That's horrible. Or either making a joke about it, just to make it like, oh, he's broke. Yeah. So, but why would someone even do that? That's that's the thing that I'm yeah. saying. Like, why would you even do something like that to a person who has nothing against you? But, you know, we do live in the age of where everything is social media, everybody want to talk about uh, other people and, and, and their struggles and stuff, and then doesn't they don't look in the mirror about themselves. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. I don't know. I just saw this story. And I wanted to see what was actually kind of going on with it. But the more I look into it, it seems like it may not be even him who's doing it. Mm. So that's kind of weird. Yeah. That'd be a spin, for real. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there, I would say there's, like, before you send money, just see if there's a way to verify it. If there's no way to verify it, don't send the money. Don't send the money. Yeah, because most of these people do have verified accounts, and most of them will say something on their verified account. If he's not on a verified account with a little blue check, I wouldn't send anything. Yeah. So yeah, that that's kind of it's kind of weird, like I say, it's just a uh uh they got dummy sites and you know, everybody know that Sprewell had a lot of problems when he was in the NBA as far as like with him choking his coach. Yeah, he he choked his coach. I remember that. I I thought it was actually funny at That's the time. Hilarious. Oh my god, it was it was it was hilarious because I was like, yeah. he really did that, and he kept his job. Yeah, like he kept his job after this, yeah. and and then when he uh, came up to, um, I think it was a contract extension or whatever, and they was gonna pay him like I think it was a hundred million something mm-hmm. like that, and he turned it down. Turned it down mm-hmm. because he because he felt like it wasn't enough. Mm-hmm. I need to take care of my family. Dude, yeah. $100 million is enough for you to take care of your family. More than enough. But it was a big thing about that. I know he had. He also had a series where he came out with these car rims mm-hmm. that he was doing, but nobody actually wears those rim, had those rims on their cars anymore. Yeah. So I'm not sure. Like I say, I wanted to talk about it just because I wanted to, you know, just enlighten people about what may be going on. It may be a hoax, so don't, don't look into that like that. I feel like, you know, people are out here to... To um, I don't know. People just looking for clout. Yeah, like it's that clout sickness. thing is some some serious out yeah, here, man. It's a sickness. It's a sickness, <laughs> man. It's a sickness. I, I I I don't know, man. Me myself, I don't know why would someone do something like that. Yeah. But you know, that's the that's the world we live in. Yeah. 
Yeah, so yeah, if it is a hoax, it's, it, that's sickening. Yeah, but I mean, if it's something that he actually needs, yeah, that's cool. But also, I would want to know why yeah. you're in that type of situation because, as a person that made that kind of money, it's going to be hard for people yeah. to sit back and say, "Well, why should I give you anything?" Yeah, and you you had all these opportunities. You definitely have to explain yourself. You got to explain yourself. Yeah. So that's I, another thing. But I, I I hope it's not a hoax. If it yeah. is, but if it is. That may be a good thing because his granddaughter may not have cancer. So yeah. I don't know exactly yeah. how how it is, but yeah. I would I would hope that uh, she gets the help that she needs if that yeah. is if that is true. Yeah. You know, but I also want to know how did you get to this situation? How yeah. did you get to that point? And, yeah, and it also is more about her than it is about him. So people kind of also got to understand that it's not really about him. It's more about her. And uh, also, I think it would help. Like, I don't know for sure if he's made a statement, but if he could come out and make a public statement about it, yeah, I think that that would probably help his case a little bit more. But yeah, and yeah, it just talks about him having a, his home foreclosed and stuff. So it's like he he's been having some money issues, yeah, yeah. and things like that. But yeah, it's I hope a possibility. Yeah, I hope it's not that serious though. But you know, you just never know. I yeah. just saw this story out there, and I wanted to talk about it a little bit. And, uh, you know, maybe maybe we can find out the truth about it. Yeah. All right. Well, that's been our show. You can catch us next on our next episode. And, uh, hey, you never know what we may talk about. We may talk about something that the, uh, the fans sent out to us. You yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah, if y'all have anything, just leave a comment, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll, we'll talk about your topic on the show. Yeah, hit that like, 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 like button, man. Mm-hmm. Just keep liking it. Like it as many times you can. Yeah, like it till you love it. And yeah, like it till you love it. You know what I mean? And subscribe and hit that bell button so you know when we have another update. All right, man, that's been our show. And you have been kicking it with Kel and Jake. Holla! Mm-hmm.